Once upon a time, there was a potato called Mr. Potato. A few months old he was, born from a mound of soil in the vast fields of Potatoville. Mr. Potato was a sad potato. From his birth, he had been an outcast. None of the other potatoes wanted him. Thus, from a young age, he learned the brutal ways of life and had to fend for himself in a great and dangerous world. Potatoes were looked down on in society. Most people considered them useless, nobody wanted them. They lived in a constant fear of being eaten, devoured by brutal humans who ate them for their nutrition. The only hope for Mr. Potato was to be useful for something, to get a job, to save himself from the inevitable fate. Mr. Potato tried many things. He had always been fascinated with movies and wanted to try being a filmmaker. And although he tried his best, there was no mercy. Mr. Potato was simply not good enough for movie production. Relentless bullies mocked him for his poor performance. He had to give up his great dream, walk away as a homeless, and search for something else to do. Potatoes weren't known to be the prettiest of creatures, so when you saw one on the street, they were usually mocked by passers-by, shamed for their ugly appearance. They were rarely allowed to take part in society, and usually slept outside, in the darkest alleys of the poorest towns. Weeks went by, and Mr. Potato finally managed to get a job as a server. It was hard work, day and night, yet even though he did his very best, he couldn't keep up. He got complaints, was shamed, cursed out, and eventually, he had to let go. Technology just wasn't his thing. Unsure of what to do next, he looked for help online. But being a potato online is not an easy task. Humans control the internet, and they were brutal and cruel. At last, he could take no more. Mr. Potato had tried everything to get a worthy life, but nothing had worked. He was a failure. He knew that he would never amount to anything good. He didn't even have any friends to send his final goodbye. In his final desperation, he let go.